I change my brake pads by myself? Can I do it myself? I mean, it's like complicated stuff. Am I fit for a job? Here it is. For the qualification, you need the following things. And you need to do exactly as I do. So how do you know if you're qualified for the job? You need one bowl. And you need one egg. If you can do this. If you can do that, you're fit for the job. Number one, wear the right clothes. Even if they think you're a beggar, it's okay. Who cares anyways? Look at the muck around this bike. Oh my god. Buy kerosene, put it in a regular spray bottle. This will help loosen the muck. Guys, you need to find something like this. This helps keep your tool clean and the parts that come out of your bike even you know that is clean. Before you start any kind of work, you need to take pictures. Let's start by opening one of these so it is easier to push down right push it down there you go there you go that's it important tip put it always inside the basket it keeps it clean and secure and doesn't make it dirty with anything around it slide it out very gently don't worry about your disc getting spoiled now that this is out right before you do anything else, take photos. You'll see a lot of muck around this, right? What I'm gonna do right now is spray kerosene and brush it all off. And if you're not sure, you can always put it back. You can always just slide it in back again, put those back on and you're done. Spray kerosene so that it loosens out all the other muck. There it go. You need to have anyways have your hands dirty. If you have a pair of gloves, good enough. If you don't it's okay, you just need to wash your hands. Don't freak out, right? Your hand is gonna be just intact. It's not gonna come off. If you look closely, there are two pins holding the brake pads. In several other bikes, it can be two or more. So here it is. When I've come out already, I'm gonna take off this safety pin, right? From here, sliding it out. Then this comes off, then the brakes will come off. Either you can use a cutting clear, or you can use one of these to slide it clean. Then press this inside to simply slide it out. One of your brake pad is safely removed out. It is. You just need to take it out like this. As simple as that. Once that's done, you're ready to clean your entire brake caliper. Anyway, so you need to take that off. This is not compulsory to remove. I'm gonna show it to you anyways, so that you can know if in case you remove it, what's gonna happen. Well, this is something that moves your caliper front and back as the size or as, you know, the pads get worn out. This moves it, bringing it closer, right? That's the job of this thing. This needs to be lubed really well, right? Okay. Once that goes clean, uh, the next thing you need to do is clean the rest of it. So spray a whole bunch of kerosene on it. You can do a really good job guys, I mean if you do it yourself, you will do it really neatly and you will understand your bike better. There it is, okay. So we get a little more kerosene on a smaller brush, clean it inside. The way it's shining now, awesome. Wipe it with a dry cloth so that the excess kerosene comes off. You need to press the pistons inside with your hand, right? You can see that. There you go. It will go all the way in, right? It will be easier for you to place the pads back on. 
and in case you happen to remove the pin don't freak out right don't have to worry about it you'll see the design will go only in one direction but not the other so don't worry about it unless you force it in it's not going to go in it's going to stay out it will not fit right so there's only one way that's going to go in and secure itself there very easily there you go it's in place to loop this part you need to loop this so that it easily goes in and out hey what do i what if i put the other way around what if it goes this way or maybe this no it will not one thing is we have already taken photos number one number two this will only go in one direction it will not go the other way around because this is the same size for this and this will only go through this here it is you need to just put it and press it see that that's how it goes up and down it moves the brake pad right apply a little petroleum grease a little not too much you don't need much of grease very little very thin layer on the top put it back in and there you go job well done you can get those grease uh, packets for even 10 rupees you know it's that cheap now that it's ready it's completely clean and neat superb if you have the new brake pads you need to put the new brake pads in or else if you're just trying to do an overall you just need to clean the existing brake pads with a sandpaper any sandpaper right rub against it you'll see a lot of dust coming off from it clean it a little once you're done placing the pads back here it is so once it's clean all tidy all neat you have cleaned it with your rag put it back inside secure it right there is a notch here if you can see that that's where exactly it sits that is secure there number one number two this one has a ring around it so this goes first like this then it goes all the way down right so that it gets locked on this with the safety nut here's the safety nut right put it across the way it was right here it is press it side take it all the way to the other side it. done next thing take the safety pins or the lock pins rather put them in so that holes secure that so that they don't come off the second pin put it across slide in the brake right the brake caliper in back to its position so what you need to do is bring it back like this very easily right and that's it that's done once you're done with that you need to just put these guys back and tighten it with your hand always remember use only your hands till you reach the point where it's too tight for you to do it with the hand so that you don't get into a wrong thread and spoil the brake caliper or the bolts rather tighten it once that's done next thing you need to pump up the brakes be careful do not go right out and check the brakes yet you need to pump the brakes so that the pistons are back to its position and the brakes are activated you can see right now the brakes are not activated even though I am pushing it fully you need to pump it in right a couple of times so that the oil from the reservoir comes down all back and you can see that getting in action now it doesn't go back anymore in so it's tight it's fine now you can check it 